wrap, coil, and stitch, those are the three basic steps to create fast and easy placemats, trivets, and coasters. It's a carefree approach to sewing with terrific results. Let's get started. I always like projects that don't take a lot of time, great gift-giving projects, and these coasters, trivets, and placemats really fit that bill. We're first going to start with the circular type of stitching. You can see the coasters and the trivets are very secure. They're made with cording, wrap fabric, and a lot of zigzag stitching. So the supplies that you'll need to get started are the 6 32nd cotton filler cord. About 10 yards comes in this package. And for each 10 yards, you'll need a third of a yard of fabric. And you can see that the coasters and, and trivet were variegated, and we used an ombre or variegated fabric. You need to cut this into half-inch crosswise strips. I like to use the Shape Cut Plus for cutting. It has half-inch increments that are die cut so that the blade fits right into the area. So with a rotary cutter, and this special ruler and the mat, cut your fabric into half inch strips. You can stack these strips right next to your sewing machine because you're going to wrap the cording at, kind of as you sew. So to get started, here I have the end of my cord and I'm simply going to get my half inch strip and then add a little glue, a little glue stick to the end. First wrap so that you have fabric to fabric because you want a tapered end and after you get that first wrapping then you don't have to do any more gluing just overlap so that you're overlapping at about a half of an inch half of the width so fourth of an inch and pull it taut just roll pull it taut and keep on doing this oh six to eight inches there's really no guideline just wrap and wrap and after you've wrapped a while then secure with a pin. Now you would need to wrap a little bit more than I have on this particular sample. Then start the coiling. And as you might guess, you just start in a circle. The tighter the coil you can get, the better. And after you've coiled a while, then just insert a pin. For this first project, you're, need, you're going to need to coil at least an inch and a half to get going. So here you can see another sample just made in this manner. We're going to be stitching starting at the first bend. So right at this first coil at the top of the bend is where I'm going to stitch. Now if you're wondering how you're going to set up your sewing machine, I'd like to give you those details right now. I have a open toe foot on my machine and I like to use this because you'll need to see where you're doing your stitching because you're going to be putting a zig in one side of the coil and a zag in the other. The thread that I have is a variegated thread by Madeira because we're working with variegated fabric. And then I have a size 90 sharp needle. We're going through a wide width of fabric and cording so that sharp is needed. And now it's time to do the stitching. As I mentioned, we're going to start at that top of the first bend. Place your fabric underneath the presser foot, lower the presser foot. Let me just make sure I'm at the top of the bend. Here we go. And then a zig is going to go in the fabric and a zag in the, in the other coiling. One in the coil and then on the other side of the coil. I have a zigzag stitch, about a three width and a two length. Now to get started, you may consider using a slightly shorter stitch, but I am just now going to the second round, stitch and stitch and stitch. And if you stop with the needle in the right position, it makes it easier to coil or to turn. Now notice that I have the coil to the right of the fabric. And since I'm right-handed and I'm turning this in this manner, it really works well. So you just zigzag back and forth, back and forth. Now, after you have stitched all that you have wrapped, then you can perhaps add another fabric. And if you need to add more fabric, as I have done here, I've already glue-sticked two different strips together. 
you know, this is all raw edge, so it doesn't have to be accurate. Then just keep wrapping some more. Wrap again another six to eight inches. Secure it with a pin. And then just keep going around and around, sewing in circles. When you decide it's time to end your stitching, cut the cording. Wrap a few more times around the end and then fabric to fabric so it tapers down to nothing. Zigzag and secure those stitches. You saw earlier that we had a placemat and that has an oval shape. Actually, this is very easy to work with. Rather than coiling very tightly into a circle, start with a three inch length of the cording wrapped back on itself. Again, you'd start at the very tip or the very end of the bend. And then as you're stitching, you just wrap and turn. Zigzag straight, wrap and turn. It's really that simple. You can be creative with this type of fabric coiling as well. For summer entertainment, you may want to consider working with a watermelon coaster or trivet. Since this is all raw edge, here you can see the watermelon color fab fabric wrapped around the cording and then a little black trim added for the seeds. The last two revolutions of the fabric were wrapped in the green for obvious use. It's a great way of making a fun gift or decorating idea. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing and quilting skills. Order your supplies today.